We are here today to pay tribute to over 58,000 soldiers that gave their last breath in a little country called Vietnam. In an effort to provide us with the many freedoms we as Americans enjoy. Their sacrifice cannot go unnoticed. They gave their all. There are names of friends that I knew during childhood on this wall, and even my own brother's name is engraved on it. There are a few statistics that I'd like to share with you about this wall. The youngest Vietnam killed in action is to be Dan Bullock at about 15 years old. The old, oldest person on the wall is to is believed Dwayne McGriff at 63 years. At least five men killed in Vietnam were 16 years old. At least 12 men in Vietnam were killed when they were 17. At least 25 of those killed were 20 years or younger. There were 997 veterans killed on their first day in Vietnam. There were 1,448 killed on their last day. There are 16 chaplains on the wall, two with Medal of Honors. There are eight women on the wall, seven from the Army and one from the Air Force. The most, the most casualties for a single day was January 31st, 1968. There were 245 casualties on that day. The moving wall carries the message and the memories to far-flung areas of the country and has since 1984. There were 247 Medals of Honor winners uh, during the Vietnam War, but every name on this wall is a hero to me. The men and women of the armed forces ask for little, yet they inspire so much. They ask for only the gratitude of a grateful nation and yet they inspire the commitment of the values and the ideals on which this country was founded. There are over 300,000 men and women buried at Arlington. And there are over 58,000 names, names engraved on this Vietnam Wall. And since our nation was founded, there are over one million men and women who have given their lives. Service to our nation is something to be proud of forever. And it is up to us to ensure that the sacrifices of those who died were not in vain. veterans over the years and they've shared with me their experiences there were no brass bands there were no parades instead many of them were spat upon many of them were called baby killers and still they persevered I think that by now most Americans recognize that we got it wrong in not acknowledging the courage the valor and the commitment of the men and women of our armed forces who fought an unpopular war. I also think they are now resolved to never let that happen again. That's important because as hard and as all-consuming as war is, we cannot forget its aftermath. The broken bodies, the broken minds, the broken families, 
that require continued attention of a grateful nation. Today, an irresistible and loving call comes from the wall. As I approach, I can see an elderly lady, and as I get closer, I recognize her. It's Mama. As much as I have looked forward to this day, I have regretted it because I don't know what reaction I would have. Next to her, I suddenly see my wife and immediately think how hard it must have been for her to come to this place and my mind floods with the pleasant memories of 30 years past. There's a young man in a military uniform standing with his arm around her. My God, it had to be my son. Look at him trying to be the man without a tear in his eye. I yearn to tell him how proud I am, seeing him standing tall, straight, and proud in his uniform. Mama comes closer and touches the wall, and I feel the soft and gentle touch I had not felt in so many years. Dad had crossed to this side of the wall, and through our touch, I try to convey to her that Dad is doing fine and is no longer suffering or feeling pain. I see my wife's courage building as she sees Mama touch the wall, and she approaches and lays her hand on my waiting hand. All the emotions, feelings, and memories of three decades past flash between our touch, and I tell her that it's all right. I'm so honored and humbled to be here today as we remember and revere our fallen heroes. I also want to say thank you so much to the people who worked so hard to make this happen. This truly is a labor of love. And you see that by the countless hours that people devoted to make this happen, the fact that they cleared this site, this site has been transformed from what it was previously, so that we could have the proper forum to display this healing tribute to our fallen heroes. And there were over 200 volunteers who stepped up and said, we will work to make this happen. I couldn't be prouder of all of the efforts, and I couldn't be prouder of the outpouring of support. Those who have attended last night, today, who will be here tomorrow to show their deepest gratitude to those who lost their lives. So we have rightly come this day to honor our fallen heroes and to invite your comforting presence and to invoke your divine blessing both on the hallowed grounds of this sacred memorial and on the services and experiences that we tenderly share here. Comfort those who yet mourn their loss and those as well who went faithfully to fight on our behalf in the fields of Southeast Asia and elsewhere and came back wounded in body, soul, and spirit. We should tell our veterans every single day, thank you on behalf of a grateful nation.